just never thought that this would happen to me. But I might need this someday. Something I found myself saying all the time. I'll just upgrade. It's no big deal. No matter what I did, I couldn't escape. This happens to me on my phone, on my computer. My life kept revolving around all of these things. Photos, emails, even browser tabs. No matter what I did, I couldn't escape. I knew what I had become. I had become a digital hoarder. So I know that that beginning was a little bit dramatic, but you know what? Who doesn't have fun making fun of ourselves? With all the photos that we save, the emails that we save, I know that you have also gotten that message that says your phone storage is almost full or even your computer storage is full. So we have all become digital hoarders with the amount of emails and photos that we save because you know what? We might need it someday. Well, we have to stop this behavior, so I'm going to give you five quick, yes, very quick tips that will help you manage your digital life even more. So whether you're on the brink of becoming a digital hoarder or if you know that you're already there, these five tips are gonna help you out. So let's get started with email because that can always be pretty overwhelming. So the first service I wanna tell you about is called Unroll.me. And this service will bundle all of your subscriptions into one daily or even weekly email or even unsubscribe you completely to newsletters that you realize you're not reading any longer. So as those emails keep coming in every single day and all you're doing is hitting delete, well, why not roll them all into one single email or even unsubscribe completely because it's gonna be a lot less to manage. Next up is Inbox by Gmail. This has been a complete lifesaver for me because it's changed the way that I manage my emails. There's the ability to bundle, snooze, add tasks. Again, I'm going to manage my email a lot better, therefore my inbox is not a black hole anymore. So now we come to browser tabs. I always keep multiple browser tabs open because there's always articles or websites that I want to come back to later, but now it makes my computer a lot slower. Well, I've got two quick tips that will help you out with that. The first one is Pocket, so you can add an article or website you want to check out later to Pocket. And it's an app for both iPhone as well as Android with a Chrome plugin. Plus you can save articles from Twitter, Flipboard, and more. And your articles are then going to be saved offline. So if you're doing a little bit of traveling, you don't have access to internet, this makes it a lot easier. And here's another quick tip. If you add Read Ruler to your Pocket account, it will then sort all of your articles by read time. Next is the Great Suspender. So again, the more tabs you have open means the more your computer is gonna be slowed down. So what this will do is it's a Chrome extension and it will then put those browser tabs to sleep if you haven't returned to them in a little while. So next up is managing your photos. The newest kid on the block is Google Photos and this could probably put you in a little bit of a trap if you don't wanna become a digital hoarder as there is unlimited storage, but it is a really, really great service and so you're gonna to have to check this out. You can sync all of the photos that you take from your phone right into this app and it has amazing sorting capabilities. It will sort by events, dates, facial recognition. Sounds a lot like photos from Apple, but yet it's even better. I hope these five tips have helped you from becoming a digital hoarder. So if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because every single Wednesday we'll have a brand new video. All of the services that I mentioned in the video, I will put all of the links in the description below, as well as all of the places where you can connect with me. See you next week.